Guys, you ever see t-shirts like this? Outcast, TLC, Master P, Boys in the Hood with Ice Cube, Paid in Full, the movie, LL, Pablo Escobar, Whitney Houston, even Freddy Krueger. This is the bootleg t-shirt style. Just do a simple Google search for bootleg t-shirts and all of this stuff will come up. I mean, it goes on for pages and pages. And it's really trendy. Check out this article from GQ Magazine. The rise of the faux bootleg tee. And you can go down, they go through several NBA players rocking bootleg tees. We have the Mike Tyson here. Then go down to the Malcolm X and Whitney Houston again. And yep, GQ. So back in the days, cats would find like some photos online, get Photoshop, right? And use some of the biggest obnoxious fonts, right? Print those t-shirts, hit the streets, and make some money. <laughs> Broadband can spell. Hopefully you can spell a little bit better than Broadband. I'm gonna show you how to make your own with artificial intelligence in Kittle. I'm Gary and this is T-shirt help desk. So first we're gonna look through the Kittle templates and find some styles with some big nice title fonts, right? Here's one right here, Godzilla, and here's another one. This uh, nocturnal, like that one. Now we're gonna go back and then we're gonna hit new project, right? Then we're gonna go right here, just click okay. And we're gonna go right down here to image generator. And we are gonna make some magic happen with AI. And you go down here and look, this is the different types of styles that they have. Uh, you can go, you know, peruse and see what you like. Right now, let's go back over here and we're gonna add our uh, prompt. The late rapper Tupac Shakur looking into looking into the camera very dramatic. We're gonna click on painting and then hit generate. Boom. I'll be damned if that ain't Tupac. Boy, that AI is something else. Guys, if you get something and you're not really crazy about what it is or what it looks like or the execution, all you have to do is just change your prompt around, hit enter and get something else. So guys, I want two pictures for my bootleg. So I'm going to open another tab and put in another prompt. Late rapper Tupac Shakur looking into the camera, very dramatic, but I'm gonna add with a bald head. Generate, and there it is. Well guys, once you have your photo, it's all about the big font. So now we're gonna come back to those graphics that we saved earlier, right? And I'm gonna take that Godzilla, I'm gonna ungroup it, I'm gonna copy it, paste it right over here. We're gonna bring it right to the back and we're gonna click on the color and I drop it to that bandana color to get it to match a little bit better, right? Now we're gonna change it from Godzilla to Tupac, all right? And the great thing about those, you can go in and you can play with the arc or play around. So we're gonna play around with that. Um, they're playing around. You know what? I think I want to change this font. I want something a little bit more bootleggy. So we're gonna go through um, that. Mm, no, uh, this one that looks real bootleggy. All right, pull that up. Get rid of the other one. Play with the color a little bit. And we're gonna arch it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna copy the Tupac. Paste it and we're gonna write out the term Shakur. All right, gonna size it down a little bit and we are starting to have ourselves a bootleg graphic. I think I wanna play with this arc a little bit. This is the great thing about uh, Kittle. You can play with all the text. All right, I'm feeling that, but I'm gonna go grab that other picture bring it in and we're going to go over and remove the background and uh, we're going to pull it to the back to really give you that bootleggy feel we're going to have two pictures and kind of fade it out a little bit all right so now i'm going to uh, go over to our text and i'm going to add some extra words you know famous album all eyes on me so we're going to add that right here on the side to really give it that bootleg look all eyes on me and i like to when i'm when i'm playing with with fonts when i'm doing my graphics um especially stuff like this 
I like to um, have my words, it's just a composition thing, I like to have my words like this. I like to have them kind of weave, it's hard to explain, but weave into each other. So now we're gonna go in and uh, use the uh, background removal tool, right? We're gonna remove that background so that fits in there really, really good. And the last thing that I did is I went over to textures and I started to add some textures to give it that kind of like vintage feel that that almost like you went to a thrift store and, and found it and you're selling it as a vintage tea. And there you have it guys, beautiful. Now that is a bootleg tea. Now you're pretty much done, but you know what? I said, you know what? Let me try a slightly different version. So guys, I went to that nocturnal graphic that I saved and I changed that to Tupac and I went down and I changed the Metal Fest to Shakur and I simply copied and pasted them onto the Tupac graphic. And of course I went in and I dropped the color to get it to match more of the colors that are in, you know, the bandana and everything. And now I have two versions. All right, now check these out. We have two retro looking bootleg graphics, man. And this is how you can do them with Kittle. Remember where you heard it first. And just like that, you have yourself a bootleg graphic. Guys, I want you to go check out Kittle right here, okay? And uh, the link is also gonna be down in the description box and pinned into the comments. And I have a full Kittle tutorial, all right? Go up there and check that out. Until next time, fool around with y'all long enough. I'm gonna put some butter on my shoes and slide on out the door. Peace and God bless. T-shirt help, Brusque. And, um, oh, f**k. And...